Hey everyone, it's Samantha and today is going to be my September crochet nook. It is near the end of the month, so I apologize for this taking a little bit longer to make. I've been sick this last week when I was trying to film this video. Um, I still might sound really weird. I'm getting over a cold. I want to show you guys what I've been making. I have like a couple of half finished projects. I did end up finishing that two-toned baby blanket. I'll insert an actual picture of the finished thing because if I hold it up, you're not going to be able to see the whole thing. Like so. That's actually kind of upside down. I don't think it really matters, but you can see the two toned shell stitches and then I did a little ruffle edge around the whole perimeter of it, which is really cute. I really, really like how this one turned out. I thought it was super duper cute. Um, I ended up doing a, sh a line of single crochets and then the shell stitch at the edge for that scallop edge. I still have to go back and tuck in some of the little pieces, but overall it is done. I really like how it turned out. I think it'll be super duper cute for my little baby, um, which we found out was a girl. I'm glad that I picked like an aqua-y type of blue so this would still be able to work for a girl. And like I said, I'll insert a picture in here so you guys can see the full thing. So I did give the details of this blanket and the tutorial that I used in my last crochet video, but I will go ahead and insert that information. And I also will link to that last video. So check that out if you wanna see my August video. I was really, really happy with how this blanket turned out. When I first started this blanket, how much I showed you guys in my August video, I had like that much of it done. And I realized I had done one of the stitches wrong. And so I had to end up pulling out the whole thing to redo it because it wasn't laying completely flat. Like this one lays completely flat. It was like ruffling out a little bit and being really weird looking. So I did have to pull the whole thing out, redo all the stuff that I had shown in the other video. And I'll insert a little clip here to show you guys kind of the difference. So here's the nice, flat, smooth blanket. And then here's the clip of what I tore out. So I ended up doing that center stitch wrong when I was adding on the next row. It just made it pucker out. I ended up putting it through too many of the pieces of yarn. I had a little bit of yarn left over from that project, so I worked on a little striped hat. So you can see, and this pattern is a ribbed pattern. I wasn't very good at this stitch. It was all half double crochets and then you you stick your crochet hook in a certain way to get it to have that ribbed effect. So you're actually crocheting um, from side to side on this one, like this way, rather than like around. Uh, and then you combine the sides. And I ran out of the blue. I had more of the green, so I just finished it off with the green on that part. And then this is the seam right here. I still got to tuck in pieces here and there but I seamed it together just with um, a slip stitch for that part. Well, I didn't have a tapestry needle to finish off the top, so you bunch the top up on the inside with some yarn and then flip it around. And the person who had the tutorial also did a pom-pom at the top, so I might do like a cream-colored pom-pom on this one since I'm totally out of the yarn that I used for this, but this one wasn't my greatest project. This one will probably be good for a child's head, but my stitches at the end were really uneven. You can see like it bubbles out. I didn't have straight lines. That's been one of my toughest issues with crocheting is my rows aren't always even. I end up with too many stitches at the very end and the rows start getting fatter or skinnier. And I never know what to do for those last stitches. And even, even in the tutorials, they tell you what to do and then I forget by the end. And so like, here you can see these rows started getting very, very thick. Um, like here, I must have missed a stitch, so it went back down. It's just a really, really big fail. <laughs> but the good thing with this one is you can cover it up because you fold over the top. So like that's how you would wear the, the rim part. So you cover up any of your bad stitches and hide them like that. That's a good thing about this pattern is I can cover up a lot of my mistakes, but I was really bad at these half double crochets. Um, so like my ribs aren't exactly even or anything. You can see some of them are just not that great. This was definitely not my favorite project, um, but I'll finish it up. I did end up getting some tapestry needles so I can finish that project up. 
And then I made another little hat, the same exact pattern. For this first one, I followed her numbers exactly, except I ran out of yarn. I just made it as long this way as I could um, before I ran out of my yarn. Uh, and for this one, I made it for like a baby. So it's a really, really tiny hat. And I think I did like 35 chain stitches for my foundation chain. So it's a lot shorter this way as well. So here's the full size one. And then here is the shorter one. It's significantly shorter. And then for this one, I used double crochets instead of the half double crochets because I did not like that stitch at all. The way I did my stitches, I had the ribbed side always on the same side and then one side is completely smooth. Let me see if I can flip this around for you. So one side ended up completely smooth and then the other side, which is the outside, is the ribbed side. So I did much better at the edges this time. I paid attention a lot more um, so I didn't have the edges all over the place. This is the side I'll seam up and I do have enough ribbon to do a pom-pom for this one in the same colors. This yarn from Knit Picks, it's the Wool of the Andes variety and so I used Oyster Heather and then I used Conch. So those are the two colors. It's like a corally color with a beige just mixed together. I thought it was a nice little um, wintry type of color combo. Um, so that was that project and like I said, I still gotta finish those up. And then my current project I am working on is a stocking. This is another thing I found on YouTube. It's just gonna be a nice little zigzag chevron pattern. Here's the hanger part. And so for this stocking, you seam up the one side and then that's your stocking. It's like six inches thick. So this is the part I'm gonna start the boot part pretty soon. This part's getting nice and long. So I really, really, really liked the chevron stitching. It's not too hard. You just repeat the same things over and over again once you have the top stitches done at this top line. So I'm really excited about this. For this pattern, you can really change the colors around and do however many rows of whatever color you want. So what I've been doing is the one row of white, three rows of the red and the green. So just a one row of white between each one. And the tutorial for this is awesome because it tells you how to hide all your yarn. So I've actually cut these ends and tucked them in and hidden them as I go. So there's no messy edges except this starting piece I've got to weave in. It's really, really nice and easy and I love that it hides them. Um, so you can't even tell it's all messy and stuff. Um, when you change colors, which is really, really nice. I'm gonna end up making three or four of these. And for this stocking, I'm using three different colors. I've got two Knit Picks, Wool of the Andes. I've just got the white, the red, and then the green is actually something I picked up at Michael's. This is the Loops and Threads Impeccable Impeccable. It's in the color grass. So that's the green I'm using for this. I did end up ordering more because I'm gonna run out of the red and the white. So I did end up ordering some green as well, just in case I run out of this green. I was just using whatever I had um, for this starting project. But I do wanna have a set of matching stockings, so I'll probably end up making four of these um, in case we do end up having two children. So that way I'll have all four matching stockings. So that's the project I'm working on right now. So if you crochet or you knit, let me know what you guys have been working on. Just leave me a comment down below letting me know what you guys have been up to this last month. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed these projects and I will link to all the patterns that I used. I'm not using like written out patterns. I'm still using YouTube tutorials for any of my projects. So I'll leave links to those videos for you. Um, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Be sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. So the yarn I used for this is from Knit Pigs. It, Knit Pigs, it, Knit Pigs. Um, it lets you, it tells you how to hide all your ribbons. Um, um, yeah, that's it. Nah.